Hello everyone, I'm Sanctor and welcome back to Third Age Total War. In the previous episode, we began to rebuild our armies, in two armies in fact, and in this episode, we're gonna do that. We're gonna finish it up, uh, retake our capital, and move our way north. Oh yeah, we also need to take care of the goblins. So without further ado, let's continue. Now after taking a quick peek, it appears that Gandalf's army is going to have fewer people, so I might have to rearrange a few people, or just have him suck it up and deal with less people. He can go south with the goblins, since they'll be easier to kill, while um, Eldarion can go west, technically, but eventually going north. Geography is weird. Okay, well... Let's put that guy back in there. And let's see, so you are going to Eldarion, so are you. So now this this army is full, and then you go to Gandalf. Okay, it's only three people. That's not terrible. And I don't have any money, so I can't really recruit anyone else. I suppose I could take a single unit here and move them over. Yes, my lord. That would mostly even it out yeah yes. two and one that's fine okay so Eldarion will go north Gandalf will go south to battle we shall continue yes my lord yeah we'll go here my lord what's going on in our old capital approaching ooh that's a that's a decent army okay other than that, not a whole lot going on, so I guess we'll pass the turn. But once we take Venice, Jurnan, and Osaned Hill, that's what's in the south, right? Osaned Hill? I don't know. Once we take the settlement from the goblins and take back Venice, Jurnan, I imagine I'll be making money then. But even then, I'll still be going north. This is where we turn the corner, ladies and gentlemen. This is where everything changes. This episode, right here. And that's if a single battle takes a half hour, in which case, the next episode is where it all kicks off. Well, no. This is where it kicks off. The next episode would be... <laughs> Whatever. Regardless, I'm gonna hope for the best. Oh, yes. They're leaving the settlement and going north. Perfect. What would be perfect is if the end screen didn't take nearly as long. Your orders, my Oops. Lord. Didn't matter. We shall engage. Yes, my lord. To battle. Hmm. Hi, Chieftain A. Well, looks like I might have made a mistake Your in having orders, Gandalf come down here, but oh well. I suppose I could have sent both armies down at the same time. I might have been able to auto-resolve the battles by then, actually, now that I think about it. But I'd rather divide and conquer. Speed things up a bit. It's already the year 3011, and I haven't really gotten a whole lot accomplished. 127 turns, and I have... 1, 2, 3, 4 settlements? When I should have, like... Five settlements? Okay, bad guys, you can uh, take your turn a little quicker. Especially if you're in areas that don't pertain to me. Come on, Dunlin, get out of here. You don't belong in there. The Ardenheim is actually in Ariador, right? They took the Grey Havens. Yeah, uh, sure. I failed that. Cool. I don't care about you guys. Yes, my lord. We shall engage. We shall prevail. Hmm. Yes. To siege them out or to fight? That is the question. Where's G oh? There he is. Gandalf kind of blends in a little bit. Uh, 
I mean... I'm assuming they're easy to kill. I just don't want to fight it. It's too late to go up north. It would take several turns. Whatever. Go over here and then siege it. And actually siege it because I know they're going to sally out. Okay, so that's garbage. That's good. And this is better. Moria still doesn't like me. To hell with Moria. We can't even call them the Goblins of Moria anymore. Because both Kaza Dooms are owned by me and the Dwarves. The good thing is, once Osin Edhill and Turd Hewen are mine, I shouldn't have to worry about the Goblins for a long, long time. Because they will be to the north and to the east of the Misty Mountains. Whereas I'm on the west. Southwest. Come on, Dunlin. Get out of there. You don't belong in there. Yep, here we go. Now that I think about it, I should have known that was going to happen. They would be behind me. I should have probably positioned my army a little better. The hell is that? It's just a catapult, right? Some sort of catapult. All right, so this army is going to be a pain in the ass. This one, not so much. How do I position my people? I'll figure it out. Let's just get in there. We march into battle. All right, this battle could take a half hour. I doubt it, but it could. So let's strap in. Let's get ready to die. Okay, so Gandalf and you are my only cavalry units. You militia are my only infantry units. Four is not good, but I have to defend on two sides. Uh, a little turn off skirmish mode on all of you guys. There we go. And we'll kind of like spread it out a bit to make it fair. It's like a hill I can go on like, yeah, like this hill right here. It's better than nothing. And then you guys on the opposite side. Something like that. Calvary. Yeah, you, Calvary can just stay over there. Two units of spearmen. Right in the front, just taking the brunt of the force. Then the other spear units right here. And let's start the battle. Oh, they're closer than I thought they would be. Oh, is that the siege engines? Yeah, that's, that's where the artillery is. All right, well. Let's get the cavalry over there so they can circle around and destroy those catapults. And I got a text message. This is not a not a good time for a text message. Ooh, do I want one corn in the cob or two? I'll go with just one for now. Just the one. Okay. Alright, enough uh, distractions. Let's go ahead and kill those guys. Yeah, everyone's a little closer than I thought they would be. This is not the best place because they're at a corner. Oh yeah, these guys are dropping like flies. Oh, oh, that's a thingy. It missed. Good. Good, good. Alright, well, 
These guys should move over like that. And you guys stay there. I, I could use your help. Gandalf, how's it going over here? 55 people. Uh, you, you, you should probably hurry it up and kill them. So yeah, we'll go through them, break their lines, completely surround them. And then it'll be easier for them to die. Oh yeah, these guys need to run. Alright. Oh, they're moving into position. Okay, well. In that case, just, I, I don't know, take a stroll that way. Oh, nope, never mind. Never mind, there are goblins here. Kill them. Kill them instead. Uh, oh, they're all done. Okay. Uh, kill the artillery. Actually, Gandalf, go ahead and pick off some of the... Ooh, the, the bodyguard. Oh, they're all coming this way. All right. Well, then we'll circle around. We'll do that instead. All right, well. There, we'll do something like that. And what's going on over here? I mean, not a whole lot. I mean, this is a general, so he can hold them off pretty good. So I'm not too worried about that. All right, looks like we got the artillery, or most of them. The enemy are badly bloodied. Where are they? There's four of them there. All right, and Gandalf. Oh, you're in defense or guard mode. Admittedly, I don't really know what the powers do, but I feel like it's better to have them, um, better to use them than not. All right. So get out of there, regroup, and then charge again. And their general is right here. He is not having a good time. Ah, shoot, the other army is here now. Okay, well, you guys go ahead and try to distract him as much as you can. Uh, I need to focus on what's over here. Gandalf, go ahead and charge him again. Okay, well, they're missile units, but it looks like they're about to, like, actually get in there. Which worries me a little. Yep. All right, now the cavalry needs to circle around and take care of the wargs. Also get Gandalf out of there. I feel like the archers and the infantry can take care of themselves. I need to micromanage what's going on over here. It's gonna be a not a great charge. All right, well, it's decent. Decent charge. Alright, well, these guys are getting their asses kicked. Alright, let's get my cavalry out of there. These guys are also getting their asses kicked. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm losing it. My micromanaging skills are quite bad. What about cavalry? Yeah, let's get them out of what's going on over here and get them back to what's going on over here. Because this first army... Yeah, this first army, I can take care of them. No problem. It's this second army over here that's kind of like got me divided. Oh, boy. Gandalf's fine, but this other unit, my sworn horsemen, they are, uh... Not doing too well. Okay, so these are just a bunch of snaggas, so that's good. It'll be easy to kill them. And once they start to break, the others will... Perfect! Let the crows have his miserable bones and let our swords Was that their chieftain? Bed. Yeah, their high chieftain. Wonderful.
Oh, yeah. They're breaking. These guys are next. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at them drop. Holy crap. Oh, cavalry is just great. All right. There's actually quite a few units over here, though I assume most of them are not that fantastic. All right, cavalry regroup over here. That way we can get a good charge on these archers. 30% losses for me. Uh, these guys aren't going to do too well. Unfortunately, I can't get a good charge with them as long as these guys are here in the way. Come on, you can't go from yellow to green. That's not how this works. Alright, well. I can try. Go this way and then go that way. Oh, shoot. This guy is actually not doing too well. Need to get him out of there. And that's probably him. Yep. Damn it, Era 4. He was actually one of my better units. He was with me in the beginning. Oh, somebody disappeared. I just gotta keep charging and then retreating charging and retreating why aren't you doing anything get in there do something actually where's their leader he's like over here uh, that, that's a little difficult to for my um where these guys go a little difficult for my cavalry to get in there but my archers can, are doing a decent job at keeping him in check. And these guys are all spread out. Makes charging a lot more difficult. But this should do it, I think. Seriously? They're, they haven't broken yet? Holy crap. All right, maybe if I switch Gandalf and my other unit. Yeah, because I only have like one guy left in this cluster. Oh, they're... Oh, that's the bodyguard. That's their general. Yeah, let's kill him instead. Or do our best. No, where are you going? He's over here. He's over here. He's somewhere buried in there. God, I can't tell what's going on. Uh, all right. Get them out again. We'll just keep trying this. Maybe I should go around and break that up. Then again, if I can kill their general, then they'll all start to break. Where did he disappear to? He's all the way over there. Ooh, he's away from everyone. Yes, let's let's go ahead and do that. Oh, great. He's getting back in it. Getting back into the fray. Alright, well, those guys are retreating. So let's... Yeah, let's keep pressing forward. These guys should break, too. Once one unit breaks and the others see it, they all start to break. Typically. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Alright, well. Let's ignore these guys, maybe. And... Get a good flanking attack on the general. I feel like one of those two guys is him. Oh, here we go. 
Oh yeah. They are so screwed now. Look at this guy. He's looking around, he's so confused. Oh, oh no, we're, we're gonna kill this dude. Or capture him, whatever. Yeah, we're not gonna allow him to break free. You know what, that's actually a lot of archers over there, so... Let's send the Sworn Horseman out there. Alright, we're also speeded up a bit. Come on, Gandalf, you got this. I believe in you. There he is. Great. Alright, he's dead, so let's, uh... Just capture a few more people. I mean, I'm, we don't have to capture all of them, but a hundred people, I'd I'd like to capture that if I could. Please and thank you. All right, well that's good enough for now. The enemy are utterly Whew. vanquished. Lost this more people than I wanted, of only the and I played. Very, that, I was very sloppy that round. But, uh, a victory is a victory. And we're driving the goblins out of our land. And, uh, we still have enough time this episode to potentially take Fenis Druin in. Come on, chair. Although I might siege them out. Uh, not sure yet. from the enemy. Ooh, a general. And he's only worth a thousand gold. Now nah, we'll just kill him. Uh, since it was mine at one point, I'm just going to occupy it. No need to to completely destroy it. Ooh, the goblins are in Coloniac. Saloniac? Coloniac? I'm not sure. High Chieftain of the Orcs is dead. Yep. Take Turd Hewen. Well, how convenient. That's where I was going next. You guys better not take this area. Area door belongs to me. Go ahead and like, take the coast. Go after Isengard or something. Yeah, we lost Air Four. That's right. May he rest in peace. All right. Well, I can't do anything there. Still losing money, so. I will keep one unit of archers behind. Actually, do I even do that? I think I just empty it out, right? In fact, I can empty out all my lands. Except for maybe... Yeah, I can empty all of them out. Give me some extra units. Yes, my lord. And I can always... Like... Re... Recruit people. Your will, my lord. As you wish, my lord. Yes. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. I have enough happiness where I can have no garrison, except for up here. And my only threat would be Bruinos, and that's only if Agmar takes it, which I kind of have them distracted over here. Your orders, my lord. Uh, we'll go north, but we'll also head yes. a little bit east to meet tomorrow. up with them. Dunlin doesn't like me. Yeah. Maybe I should have released the goblins to make Dunlin somewhat respect me. Hmm. That's a decent army Agmar has up there. Judging by the banner, of course. If we actually look at it, they might have a whole lot of garbage. Who knows? I love how my goal from episode one was to just go north and take care of Agmar and let Dunland and the dwarves take care of the goblins in the south. But that didn't quite work out now, did it? I suppose I could take Finnis Druin in. I 
hiding from the enemy. Oh, they left. Oh, they left. Leaving just the garrison. That'll make the siege a lot easier. All right, well. Orders. By your command. We can go no further yet. Yes, my lord. All right. So that's all set. So now we can go up north there. Your orders. Oh, but okay, yeah, I To battle. Oh, there was a secret army hiding. I know I can take it, but I'd rather just starve them out, wait for them to surrender, or have a bunch of armies group up and fight me so I can wipe them all out at once. One of those two things would be preferred. Yes, my lord. What happens if I go up here? It's going to take several turns by the time Gandalf gets up there. Uh, shall continue tomorrow. Either they will have attacked or Fennish Druin would have fallen. So I'm better off sticking to the plan and having him go north. Of course, if they attack me now, I don't have enough time in this episode to actually fight the battle. Oh, elves, I love you so much. I'm sorry for breaking up with you, but it wasn't anything personal. It was only business. I fear... Uh, what's, what's their names again? <laughs> uh, shoot. I fear the yellow men more than I fear you. I ran for three miles about an hour ago, took a shower, I'm still exhausted, so I can't remember the name. Ooh, why is that timing? The One Ring is in Karn Doom, which is so close to me, and this army Lord, could take it, but I'm just... Not in a good position to be taking the ring. Yes, my lord. Ah, it's so engage. frustrating. Cause I want to do it. I respect you, my enemy. I don't want to be the one attacking. My lord, approaching quietly, my lord. All right, yeah, they have a bunch of small armies just scattered all about. Alright, I think I'll move my forces where they need to be, and before I end the turn, I'll just end the episode. And then the next one will take Fennis in. So what I said in the beginning turned out to be true, apparently. Oh no, the men are attacking Coloniac. Saloniac. Whatever it's called, however you pronounce it. I mean, if they take it, it, they're not a threat to me. But it's just a missed opportunity for more land. Because obviously I'm not going to go to war with them just to take that one settlement. And I prefer not to go to war with them at all. I don't want to stretch my forces to the south of the river. I mean, I've already kind of done that with Osned Hill and Casa Doom. Yeah, technically. I should have just stayed north of the river, but whatever. I don't want to go like this area. Enidwaith. I knew that. Uh, Gandalf, there you are. Orders, my lord. Let us settle matters on the field of battle. As you command, we shall All right, prevail. Well, Yes. This guy might not attack. He might not. Then, or he might. All right, they have two turns before yes. they surrender. Of course, every turn that goes down, they take attrition. Makes it the battle easier for I me. You, my enemy. I All right, you, well, my enemy. I'm going to end the episode there. 
And in the next one, both Tiered Huin and Fenish Junin will be mine, since I'm sieging them both. This the Goblin Capital? Oh, that is not good for them. You know, I think I'm gonna actually siege this one. So let's go ahead and get a battering ram. Alright. But that is it for now. Join me in the next episode where we take more territories. But until then, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you on the next one.